Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. How are you today? Happy, happy Friday. Let me just check here and make sure that we're, that we're on live. I have been just racing around today, working, working. Um, to get things ready for you guys and um, just to start getting things ready for um, well everything that's going on you know new catalog classes etc let me just check here okay it looks like we're on let me see where did we go good okay we're there wonderful good to see you guys and happy happy friday i can't even I mean, we say this all year, but I can't believe it's the 12th of January, 2024. I mean, that really came fast. I just am so surprised. So uh, leave me a note here. Let me see how you're doing. Polly Libby, good to see you. Colleen Ludicky, good to see you. Um, Vicki Eakins from Arizona. And Tina Lesson. You guys, I've been hearing some very, uh, you know, things, bad things about cold and snow and everybody staying inside. Let me know how you're doing. Lori Mantovi, good to see you. It's cool here, but you know, this is San Diego. It's, it's getting down to the high 30s at night and um, a little past 60 during the day, but that's no snow or anything. Kay Phipps, how are you? Roz. Yes, happy Friday. So how is the weather, you North Carolina gals and other locations? I heard, was it Iowa was going to be really bad and some of the Midwest? Tina, yes. Her, she has a cute, Ellie has a cute bow today. You have a cute bow today? Yeah. Um, Kathy's going to stay in this week with the cold in Illinois. Yes, that's what I heard. I heard people... I listened to the news and people were saying they're just going to stay, they're just going to stay in um, and, you know, be safe. Don't go driving around anywhere. K Phipps, 63. Okay. Southeast North Carolina. That's not bad. Colleen in Seattle. Ooh, 13 degrees. New York City has been in the 40s during the day. This is cold. That is very cold. Hi, Marsha Long. Good to see you. Yeah, I know. I We don't even have heavy coats here. When I go back to visit my son in Massachusetts in the winter, he has to, you know, lend me heavy coats because we don't even have such, such animals. Well, we don't wear them. I mean, people might have them, but we don't wear them here. Um, but I know. Take Just take care. Yeah. Um, well, I got my shares out, my product shares. Those were picked up by the postman today. He picks them up at my door. Do you know about that service? If you have a lot of mail, maybe even if you don't, but if you have a lot, you package, you know, you package it up. I put it in a box on my front door and I schedule a pickup. It's amazing. Becky, windy and winter mix in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So anyway, the post the post office will pick up pick up your stuff, and it's really it's really handy because that way I don't have to go and take all the priority packages and stuff. Vicki Eakins, mid twenties and thirties in Arizona, and up to the fifties in the day. Yeah, that's kind of like us, but we're not getting as cold as the twenties. Um, yeah, so I got all my shares out, and that feels good. And now I'm working on another class I'm going to be telling you guys about pretty soon. So, new catalog, right? How are you liking it? Who has products from the new catalog? You know, I was wondering what so far are your favorite products? Because I know uh, quite a few of you have ordered. And I'd love to know, let me know what your favorite products are. I really have a hard time because I like so many. There's so much I think that's good in there. And it actually takes a little looking. You know, you have to kind of look deep to look at those amazing dies in some of the sets. So let me know um, 
what are your favorite favorite bundles or sweets in the in the new catalog and or in the celebration catalog oh ellie's gonna she's gonna lick my stampin up mug i have coke in here <laughs> She, it, I think it's cold and it feels good on her tongue. I don't know why. It's not even hot, but she's funny that way. Um, so yeah, I am just the more I work with these new catalog products, the more the more I love them. Roz can't pick a favorite. Yeah, it is kind of like picking a favorite child because every time I pick one up to really start playing with it, it just gets better and better. I'm like, wow, this is I can't believe this does this. And I'm going to show you in a minute, I've been using, using thoughtful expressions. And um, I'm going to show you, well, I could show you now because what else are we doing? Yep, let me put Ellie down so she can get in her bed. And I'm going to show you, I've been working on and created a, a um, faith creations class for you. And... Um, because it was time to do, I've been trying to do one a month because I know you guys really like the Faith Creations classes. Margaret Gordon, good morning. Tina Lesson, too many to pick one, exactly. So um, I created a new Faith Creations class using thoughtful expressions. And, you know, this is the one with the beautiful hummingbird and the amazing, amazing dyes. I've been using them, so they're all kind of mixed up. But these um, over here... Let me get them out of here so there's no uh -oh, no glare. So one's, one's missing over here. I, I just went, it just went on my floor. But um, these layering dies are amazing. And these label dies, not to mention the hummingbird and everything. This is one of my favorite, my new favorite sets. And um, I'll show you the cards I've created for the Faith Creations class. And uh, you can email me if you're interested. I'm just going to get it, um, start advertising it tomorrow. And you know I give you guys sneak peeks. Most people don't get as much of a sneak peek as you guys do. But what I do is on the Faith Creations, if you don't know, they're faith-based. And so I print out Bible verses um, as sentiments. And so because it's love... Um, you got those beautiful dyes, Lori. They are gorgeous. So because it's, um, you know, we're preparing for Valentine's Day, and I already did a class with the Be Mine. I did a regular class with that. And so I didn't want to offer that again, so I chose the Thoughtful Expressions. And as I started using the products, the papers, and the colors, they're just gorgeous. So that's one of the cards. And I've put uh, beautiful Bible verses about love on here. Here's another one of the cards, and this one pops up like that. And I've used, this is a very cute little die right here, this little um, kind of flower. It's really interesting, and these are leaf dies down here from the set. And then here's the third one. I think this might be my favorite. Um, with a with a Bible verse that is goes vertical, but using those uh, dies from the set, and I'm adding butterflies to this class. I'm adding butterflies from the the paper butterfly accents, and um, so this this uh, class is going to be going um, on sale starting tomorrow. So if you're interested, email me, and what you get is everything to make all two of each of these all six cards plus goodies you're gonna get I just can't stop using these blooming pearls the colors go with everything so you're gonna get a pack of those you're gonna get a pack of the butterfly accents you're gonna get the some of the beautiful paper and I think it's a gorgeous gorgeous kit so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be offering the kit only for 45 dollars yes colleen they are beautiful verses i love to do these because the verses are so pretty and i like to send uh cards with scripture especially for people that are having a hard time or during like during valentine's day to send love you know it, it's just a deeper type of love so i'm going to be offering the kit alone 
the kit with dyes, the kit with the bundle, and the PDFs. And so all that will, um, I'll put it on, on Facebook and on my blog and stuff tomorrow. But I'm excited about this kit because it's, it's just, it's pretty. And I just was amazed at how much I really liked the Thoughtful Expressions um, bundle and sweet. It's beautiful. Okay, I want to show you something else. Let me get, let me turn you down because um, I want to start showing you something. Here we go. Is that going to work? Here we go. Try it again. Okay, here we go. Oh, I know. There we go. It takes me a minute sometimes. Um, where do I get my verses? I look them up in the Bible, Lori. <laughs> I actually pray about it and about the subject. And of course, it really was a no-brainer for um, Valentine's Day. It's always love. But I wanted to use a few different verses that I hadn't used in past years because I've been doing this for several years now. And so I just started looking at verses on love and some um, just caught my eye. And then I print them out on my... Um, printer that puts on cardstock that I recently got. There's Ellie playing with her playing with her um, her toy. So I we're not doing this today. I'm gonna have it on my blog next week. But you know before I come on I always look at the um, inventory status report which tells us um, what inventory is in and out and the truck punch is low on low uh, low supply and so I wanted to let you know if you're interested in this I I made this truck card with hearts coming out of it I just love it I love this little truck I, I do no Lori I don't I don't get them from the side I just I just get them myself <laughs> Um, anyway, I think this truck is so cute, and it's it's still available, but the punch, I didn't punch, I just stamped here, so the stamp set is available, but in case you're, you've been wanting to get the punch or you haven't gotten the truck punch, it's on low inventory, so it's a good time to order it. I know, Tina, I, I just, I do love, I just love playing around with the truck, and the sentiment is from the Be Mine, the Be Mine set. Be My Valentine, has a great, that is such a good Valentine. Um, I love the, I love the font and everything. And then I just put little hearts coming out of his, the bed of his truck and then the heart on the, on the truck. So I had a lot of fun with that. And you'll see that with all the details on my blog next week. So I wanted to continue showing you my swaps from the um, Trip Achievers group that we started last week. Yes, a truckload of love. I like that. And uh, we started at Wednesday. Um, I I think I told you um, I decided to do a swap with the uh, some of the other gals, well, people, guys and gals, that um, achieved the uh, trip to Mexico. And we go on April 29th, so I'm getting excited. I got out my passport. But anyway, you can do a... Um, they offer a swap both there and before. And so I, I participated in the swap beforehand and you get cards with new product on it so that you can get ideas. And I wanted to show you, this is the lavender set. Oh, okay, something, the lavender stamp set, not the one with the words, but the lavender branches. Hi, Becky. Um, thanks for sharing the video, good to see you. Um, the stamp set with the branches, that was on the low inventory also. Or it might already be so, it might already, might already be gone. They'll re, they'll fill, you know, they'll get it back because the catalog's still active. But um, anyway, if you love this lavender, the lavender suite, be sure you get, and that's a mega suite with two, two bundles. Make sure you get that right away. But isn't that a cute card? I think that's cute using the postage stamp dies. And um, yeah, truthfully, I didn't even have it. I was busy and I haven't had a chance to take these out of their little packets because they all come in really cute little packets. And so this one is really pretty. 
I'm thinking both of these sets might be celebrate that celebration set, both of those sentiments. I'm not sure. I didn't have a chance to look up, look it up. But I really like the way this gal did the um, the ribbon and the leather. The leather that's it's not really ribbon; it's leather something with gold on it, and it's very pretty. And I like the way she did that. Okay, let's look at another one. This is one. Hi, Julia. Good to see you. Um, I thought all the dyes were available, Roz. On the lavender, I think it was just the... Uh, I could be wrong, though. You can check me and let me know back, because I was looking kind of quickly. So I like this one. This is a great graduation card, and that's that holographic paper. And I'm pretty sure... She's torn this. I think this might be from the rock and roll uh, paper. And there's nothing inside. But that is a cute one. And then a couple of B cards. Let me see. You know, they do it. Well, this, this person actually did seal theirs up. Some of them tuck the little flap down under. And then I'm always, then I have trouble getting that out. So this is a cute B card, and that is, uh, she's stamped in black on vellum, and and then used th these dies that go around like that. I can't remember the name of those, but those are neat. And then another B card, I don't want to lose their little, they put their names on the back. This is another cute B card. I've just had so much fun looking at these swaps. When you guys, hi Renee. When you guys um, <clears throat> go to events, if you're a demonstrator and you go to Stampin' Up! events, um, it is really fun to swap. I don't always, because I don't always have time to make the cards, but it really is because you get such great ideas. I mean, that is an adorable card, isn't it? Very cute, and then this, is one that I think is just beautiful, so I saved it for last. Let me see. Oh, this was a tucked in, a little tucked in thing. I'll show this. Look how beautiful that is. Sometimes there are no words, and this one, wow, look at that. I hadn't even opened that before. Do you see how that has, a, it has one of those little squares down there, a little box? Can you see it good enough? There's a little box in there that makes that open. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to make this. I'm gonna have to make that uh, fun fold. Isn't that neat? And what a beautiful job with the uh, blending brush there and the coloring on the hummingbird. Beautiful, beautiful. Isn't that fun? I love my swaps. I've just really been having a lot of fun with them. Okay. Um, yes, absolutely beautiful. So today we're going to do a 3D Valentine treat. And here it is. And I think I might have mentioned to you guys that I sent away for these swirly um, lollipops. And I want to tell you this, I got this, it's not my original design, it's from D Slater. Of create with D, and she showed it um, to the de to some de to the demonstrators really, and I thought it was so cute. It's not exactly the um, the different pa I, you know I use different papers and stuff, but she showed it to us, and I just went gaga over this little um, lollipop holder. And I think yes, Julia, the hummingbird card is beautiful. So I wanted to show you how to make this. I don't see any of my gals on here, my team, that will be coming to my team party on the 20th. So don't tell them, okay? Um, but they're gonna all get one of these because they're so cute. So I sent away for these pink swirl cupcakes, or cupcakes, pink swirl suckers, and I got like a box of a gazillion. I haven't tried to eat one, I really should. I guess I should test it. But I thought I'd show you how to make this um, this fun little 3D holder. You could put all kinds of things in it. You know, you could put anything in there. And you could shorten it up if you want to make it a shorter thing. But I'll, I'll just show you. Where are my instructions? 
I kept my instructions. Okay, we're going to use the Be My Valentine bundle. And we're going to use some of the most adored uh, designer series paper that's free during celebration with a $50 order. And we're going to use some uh, Flirty Flamingo cardstock. Okay, here are my little directions. So I'll put them right up here so I can look at them. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light on here for you. Maybe that's a little better. It is, it's really a cute little pattern. Okay, so I left it like this so we could cut it together um, so that you could see how to do it. So the um, cardstock is going to be two and three quarters wide by eight and three quarters long. So let me get this out here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off two and cut at two and three quarters here and then we're going to cut at eight and three quarters long eight and three quarters like that okay and then we score at six and a half I just made up my own pattern from her photo um, but I could see you know how it was done so we're gonna score at six and a half which is right about there. We'll just use our scoring blade and that creates the little pocket like this. That creates the little pocket that your um, that your little sucker will go in. Okay Lori, the lavender dyes are out due in the 29th therefore the bundle is an orderable also. But it, thank you so much Lori. Hi Ann Sawson from West Virginia. So but I, it's not the postage dyes right it's the um, the lavender flowers, the flower dyes, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, that's such a beautiful set. Okay, so this is our kind of what we might call our card base or our project base. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll cut our designer series paper. This is one of my favorite patterns of the most adored. Okay, and this one is going to be two and a half by six. So I think I'll just cut it. I can put my arm down the arm of the paper trimmer now. And I think I'll go ahead and cut it at six here. Thanks for checking on that, Lori. Yes, the flower dies, okay. And then um, two and a half, I think, two and a half here. And then we're gonna have a little piece for the bottom, the little bottom section, and that's going to be two and a half by two. And hopefully all of this will work out when we go to glue it on here in one second. Okay. Hopefully this is correct. So here's our little base. And I don't know, does that look? Okay, yes. Okay, so that's perfect. It doesn't need to go down all the way at the bottom. And then this little piece is going to go right on the front like that. I decided to just change it up from the one I did that I showed you as a sample. So let's just go ahead and do our gluing. And then, and you, of course, this paper is so gorgeous. You know, you could do, I love this most adored paper. And so we're just gonna put some glue on. And I think this is cute. Um, I think this would be cute to give, give away, you know, to give treats out. Um, not just to kids, but you know, adults like treats too. We all like treats. So I'm gonna make some extras. The flower dies. Okay, yes, thank you, Lori, for checking on all of that for me. I really appreciate it. Because I look at these things before I come on and then I kind of lose my, I'm thinking, oh, what was that? <laughs> okay, so we'll put this little piece on right here. just like that. So there is really our, our little treat holder is just like that. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put it together in a minute. First, I think we'll make the B. So it's gonna be like, it's going to look like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our B, which is always very, very fun to make the bees. I love these bees. Um, so here's our bee punch. 
and I'm going to make a um, flirty flamingo bee this time. You know, rather than making yellow and yellow and uh, black, we can make any color bee we want. I've just been making a bunch of pink bees, and my uh, tuxedo black is very low on ink, so I am going to use my pierce mat. You don't have to with photopolymer when you're using the glass mat studio, but because my ink is almost is very low, I'm going to use the pad to try to get the ink to really get on there today. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. I'd like it to be darker, but meh. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the bee out with a little bee punch. And we'll just get his little body right in there. Okay. So here's our little bee. And now we're gonna give him a little, a cute little face. The face I, I've been using today is the, the little face with the closed eyes. I kind of like the closed eyes. And we just put it right here. This set is so easy to use. Okay, and while, we're, while I have the black ink open, I'm going to go ahead and do his little um, antenna. Do you call it antenna with bees? I don't know, but they're cute. And then we just punch that. Those, if you didn't know, are cut out by the little mini heart here on the punch. So you just put those little antennas inside that little mini heart and punch. Okay. And there are his little antennas. Okay, I can set that to the side. All right, now I thought that maybe we would make some gold and some of the gold floral um, wings for the bee because we, just to be a contrast from the red that we have. So to make the wings, you use the larger heart. And I'm just gonna put that in there. There's one wing and another wing. Okay, just like that. And so here is our little bee that we can put together. So I'm going to get out my glue. And what I've been doing is just put the tiniest dot of glue right there on his little antennas. Just a tiny dot. And then just set his little body right over where the antennas, where you want the antennas to go. And I always keep putting too much glue I don't know. Even one dot is too is too much with this little guy. I'm gonna try to wipe that off a little bit. Okay. Just one tiny dot. And there he is with his little antennas. Can you see that? Okay, now for his wings. He's gonna have the prettiest wings. So I think I'm gonna just let's see. We'll put one on first, okay? And I've been just gluing those also. So just a little dot, a couple of dots. And you can really just set, set him on that. Okay, there, that's cute. And then for this one, I like to put it just a little bit higher, kind of like that. So I'm gonna let this dry here. Because it's, I want it to be stuck in its place. And then I'll put this one on in behind it. And put my glue up a little bit higher there. Kind of like that. Isn't that cute? Oops, I got, I am just not doing well with my glue today. It's just getting all over the place. That's okay. You guys, you guys get it. Hi, Marcia Fonte. Good to see you. Diane Emerson, I see you. He is cute in Flirty Flamingo, and he's going to go right on the front, right there. Isn't that cute? But first, now we're going to put our um, put our lollipop in and, and assemble the, the little holder. And what I'm going to do first is tie some ribbon on. I'm going to use my favorite black and white gingham 
ribbon here. And we'll just tie that on the lollipop to give it a little bit of more foo-foo. I mean, you don't have to at all, but I think it's cute. So we'll just tie, I mean, I think black and white gingham goes with almost anything, right? And it goes with red and um, pink. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's our bow. And you guys know I tell you, adjust your bow, play around with it a little. See, whoops, there it came out looking really cute. And now we can just trim our little tails there. Okay, there's our, there's our lollipop, and it's all ready to be secured here in the inside. Now, what did I do? Okay, I'm trying to remember how I secured it. So I used my tear and tape, and I used some behind the lollipop to stick it so it doesn't fall out of its container, because the idea is that... <laughs> Marsha, you get glue all over. <laughs> it is cute. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to put a bunch of the three strips of the tear and tape on here to really secure it to the, secure the lollipop part to the holder. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and I like to press, press down to get the, the glue on that side to adhere so that when I go to pull it up, it's adhered. But I don't want to press too hard in this case because I don't want to crush the crush our little lollipop. Okay, so let's pull this. See if we can pull this up. There we go. There's one. Okay. And here's the second one. Let's see. It takes a minute. There we go. Okay, that piece. And here's this piece. Okay, so it has this three strips across, and I'm going to position it right where I want it, right there, and just press down. And then I'm going to go on the back and try to rub it a little bit to get that glue adhesive to really get secure there. <laughs> Thank you, Marsha. Mary Lou, good to see you. Um, of course, Amazon is where I got them. Um, the Dee Slater, the gal who made them and um, where I saw this, I think she used red swirly lollipops and she said she got it from Amazon. So I just went in there and, and um, searched. I just did a search. It wasn't a big deal. I just put swirl lollipops and of course, you know, poof, they popped up in all, every color you could imagine. So because pink is my favorite color, I chose pink. Okay, so now I'm going to put tear and tape along the sides here to adhere this part. And I think I, I didn't put any here because we want to, we want the lollipop to be able to move in and out. But one thing I did do is I put some tear and tape like this. I hope, ooh, that's, let me see if I can take that off a little bit. Yeah, okay, that was a little high just to make sure that this doesn't fall out. I put two little strips in here. Probably overkill, but I just wanted to make sure it, the lollipop stayed in there. So I'm just gonna press that down to make sure it adheres down there. And I'll press these sides down. And now we can just pull pull it all up and then it will adhere itself. When I fold it up, it'll just the last time it worked just beautifully. Whoops. Okay, there we go. And let's do our sides. And like I said, you could put almost anything. I mean you could put pencils in here for kids. Um, you could just put anything. This could be a holder for anything. I just thought the lollipops were so cute. So here we go. We're just gonna fold that right up and press down our sides. And we don't need to press too much here. 
we know it's adhering. So there, isn't that pretty cute? It, it's not hard to make, it was a flash to make. And then here we have our little B, and I have some dimensionals. I'm just gonna use one dimensional on our little B right there. And we'll just put him, he's a happy bee, so we're gonna put him like that. And you could have done any color. So there's your little um, lollipop holder treat box or treat container, treat holder uh, for Valentine's Day. And you can make this for anything. I mean, this would be really pretty for Easter too. I'm so glad I <clears throat> discovered it because I just think it's super cute. So there are the two, my sample and the one that I ended up with. So the prize for next week is going to be one of these. And when I award it next week, you get to choose which one you would like. I think they're super cute. And when I do send it, if, it, if one of you who's out of town wins, I will wrap it up real good so hopefully the little lollipop won't break. And in the meantime, I've got a bunch of these to make for my team for the for uh, a week from this weekend. Isn't that just the cutest though? I just think it's adorable. I think now I, I would say I almost like the gold better, but I like those little hearts too. You know, who can, I love all of it. I love all of it. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys up and we will give away the prize from last week which dropped on the floor. Hold on, hold please. Okay. And our prize from last week was some linen thread, which we always need. And I use it a lot. I even add it to ribbons. After I've tied bows with ribbons, I add linen thread because I'm kind of a ribbon gal, a bow gal. So the winner of our linen thread is Polly Libby. Congratulations, Polly. I saw you on here earlier, so I have your address. I will get this out to you. Thank you so much for watching. And you guys, don't forget, if you want, um, if you want to be a part of my uh, Valentine uh, Faith Creations class, email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com and I'll get you all hooked up for that. Because it's gonna, it's a good one to have um, scripture and Bible verses for Valentine's Day, and I wanted to give you plenty of time to make it. So let me know if you're interested in that. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Make cards, make Valentines, enjoy, stay.